What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right you guys, and do snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back, and happy Sunday. So today, today we're gonna be taking a look at a weapon mod known as Serpentis Special Edition Revamped. Now I imagine this is just kind of like it says in the title, a revamped version of the sword Serpentis. Now Serpentis, I looked it up, it was a mod from the Nexus, uh, and uh, the freaking thumbnail of this weapon I, I have to assume that the, 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 that the screenshot was taken on PC because it just looks too damn good to be on Xbox. But we're going to take a look at it here today. Um, I just want to show you where to find it. So in the mod description or in the mod pictures and stuff like that, it does show you where to go. But this is the exact location. So we're right here. We went west of the Solitude Sawmill while hugging uh, the rock wall that's in the river. Once you come this far, you'll find these three little logs sticking up out of the ground and a hidden chest right here with three items, a Serpentis, gold at 1250 and a note to a man named Holger, a man or a woman named Holger, which is kind of a little bit of lore probably behind the sword, but let's go and take it all, and we're just going to be 1250 gold richer, as well as having our brand new sword, the Serpentis. Now the Serpentis at base damage does 17 damage, weighs 12, and has a value of 735, but the in interesting thing, it causes 15 points of poison damage, but not to undead, Atronox, or machines. So this is a person killer, obviously. I don't think you'd be taking this sword up against any any uh, Atronax or any Dwarven Centurions or anything like that, especially with the damage that it does uh, so far. But let's go ahead and break this down in typical Rantium fashion, and let's see what this thing looks like up close, shall we? So we'll go ahead and drop that on the ground. You know, there's this brand new, f like, fresh-looking sword. We'll just drop it on the ground. And let's get a little bit closer, and let's see if those high-resolution pictures were actually taken on Xbox. And my god... They might have been. Jesus, this is high resolution. Look at that. Such an interesting looking blade. I hear a Nern root. Where is it? If you've watched me for a while, there it is. You'll know that I absolutely hate the sound of Nern roots. But okay, let's get back to the weapon. So the weapon itself is free. Obviously, you just have to find it in the world of Skyrim. But the unfortunate part about finding it in the world of Skyrim is you can only have one unless you duplicate it in the cheat room. But that's that's cheating. Um, but look at the just the pommel and the handle, the nice stitching right there. It it's just a unique looking color for the handle. And I love this this curved uh, hilt. Just looks so cool. Reminds me of The Witcher so much, and I love that. Really, really ornate, almost elvish uh, kind of uh, etch about this entire sword. A beautifully run uh, tall blade, and it is indeed a one-handed weapon. Not to mention, this sword is more of just a ceremonial sword, and it looks like it. It looks the part. So let's go ahead and take a look at it right here. It is just a beautiful sword. When the light catches it perfectly, you can kind of almost see like a golden tint. You see that right, right above the hilt? Just kind of a golden, maybe like a greenish tint. Very, very cool. Kind of a unique looking sword. Um, and one that I think I'd be okay with using for like a, um, I don't even know, maybe like a Templar build. Maybe just to have it, just to have it, you know, honestly, kind of like a collector's item. It might be kind of a neat thing to do if you play through like a Skyrim with vanilla, like a Skyrim with vanilla, or a vanilla Skyrim with sprinkles. Um and have this chest in the world, and then stumble upon it to find this magnificent sword that belonged to somebody crazy. You know, I think that might be kind of a neat thing to have. Uh, but let's run on up to the cheat room, and let's see if we cannot temper this thing. All right, so we're up here in the cheat room, and let's check this out. I imagine you can, but I don't want to jinx myself. Let's see what we got. So yes, you, you can indeed do that. You need a Quicksilver ingot, and with a superior increase, you get 20 points. Now that's, you know, it's not that big of an increase, but then again, I don't have the uh, the top um, uh, refining of the weapons and stuff like that. But I think that's everything that this sword has to offer. I gotta say, as far as weapons go, it's a beautiful looking weapon. Is it the prettiest weapon? No. But is it an absolutely gorgeous weapon to use for a ceremonial build or just to have it to, to display it? Absolutely. Now, before we end off today's mod showcase, I did want to try out that poison enchantment because I haven't really ever seen poison enchantments. You can poison your weapon, but am I wrong in saying that I've never actually seen a poison enchantment? But let's see. So that does, that does do the, the 15 poison damage, and yeah, that takes their health down. Yeah, that's a pretty damn good enchantment. That's a pretty good enchantment. That just murdered somebody and that guy is none the wiser. Perfect. 
Although he might have been wise, I'm not sure. But overall, guys, let me know what you guys would use this weapon for. Would you use it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Is it not the prettiest weapon in your opinion? What is it on your mind that you're thinking about? But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.